So today I wanna to walk you guys through how I'm going to repair this Mr. Cool DIY unit that isn't properly heating right now. As you can see now, the fan runs, the compressor runs, but we're just not producing enough heat. So through the power of YouTube, I found another guy who actually made this repair and now sells these kits. And I happen to buy one of his kits and I'm just gonna share it with all of you. So let's go take a look at how the unit's performing inside and we'll come out here and get to the repair. All right, here we are inside in our kids' playroom. I've got the unit set on 75. The room temperature itself is about 68 right now. If we put this thermometer up here, you can see that the unit itself and the air coming out of there, 69.2, 69 degrees. Real, so really just kind of moving some ambient air. You'll also notice too that when this thing is um, low on refrigerant, it is not going to spool up and push out the heat like it normally would. If you have one of these units, you'll know what I'm talking about. You'll see a lot more airflow. Right now, the system can't generate enough heat to actually kick the unit on and start dispersing that air. So here on the app, you can see it's set on 75. Room temperature is 68. When I previously used this unit and take the temperature, I've seen air coming out of here about 105, 108 degrees. So certainly we are not to where we need. We're low on refrigerant. And this has been our backup to keep it to 68, 69 degrees for the time being. Like I previously said, I found this via YouTube. So I've got to give credit where credit's due. I'll link his video below and a link where you can purchase his kits. Uh, not much to this. You got your R410A refrigerant. Got to make sure you are, do have a unit with R410A in it, and I'll show you that in a moment. Then you have this little hose and adapter that has a gauge on it, so you can make sure you're in the right zone. And if we go over the side of the unit, you can see that we are running R410A refrigerant. So I'm not going to be overly detailed in my explanation of what's going on here. This is kind of one of those do as I say, not as I do at your own risk scenarios. His video had thousands of views and lots of comments, of people saying this worked just fine for them. Uh, this does work on the Mr. Cool units. I'm not sure what other, you know, little mini splits it will work on, I would imagine. As long as you can get your line set hooked up properly, then no issues there. Basically, what you do is pop off the cover. You do have to make sure the unit is in AC mode, set at 62 degrees, and you wanna make sure you're on the low pressure side I've had this unit installed for a couple years now and no issues up until this point. And what I did read is that a lot of these Mr. Cool units have some bad Schrader valves in them. So it does allow some of the coolant to leak, which is the problem we're dealing with here. What's nice though is this does have a sealant in the refrigerant, so this should stop any future leaks. All right, so his instructions, which again are right here in the front of the box, put this onto the hose first gonna do the responsible thing and wear some safety goggles and gloves here we got our brass fitting on here now I'm gonna screw it on to a bottle and then the last thing we do is thread it on here check our pressure and get going there we go turn that a little bit so we can see our gauge and before we do any of that though let's get this thing set to 62 on AC mode and start pumping he makes that very clear. 62 degrees, no matter the inside or outside temperature. Also, don't mess with the Allen key spot on the bottle. That's a pressure relief valve, and that would not be good. All right. Cool, 62. The unit is spooling up. We are targeting getting this outside ring into the blue over here. So this is a gauge for R410A, R404A, and R22. So the R410A is on the outside. Green is too low, blue is perfect, yellow is overcharged, and red, I think he says, call your health provider or something. It was. All right, before we get started here, I will show you. You should register at least a little pressure. So just kind of small bursts here. You can see we're now kind of landing in the middle on that green there. She was definitely low. I'm hopeful we got enough juice in this can to get her done. We're making up ground here. All right, so unfortunately, we didn't quite make it there. Let's take a look here where our gauge is sitting. We are not quite all the way up there in the blue where we need to be. And it sure seems like our tank is all the way cached. May have to get another tank. Man, we were ever so close. Ours could have been an extreme case. Let's uh, get this disconnected here and go see what the results are inside and we'll flip it back over to heat mode. All right, back up here. Let's turn this back on. We're a little low on refrigerant still, but I do think we're gonna see 
good results. All right, heat, Let's see what happens. All right, so I went ahead and cranked the temp up to 78. You guys can read there, it says the room temperature is 67. So now as I put this up here, it's still kind of getting up to speed, 95, 98, all right, cool. So we're not even fully charged like we need to be. We went from putting out, you know, room temperature air to now cooking. 107, yeah, we're definitely good. And I don't know if you can hear now too, the airflow coming out of here is much greater than it was previously, more akin to when we had the fan running. Uh, so this is only the 12,000 BTU unit, I believe. Uh, yeah, 12,000 BTU. And it's been fantastic for this playroom for our children. This room is not connected to the whole home HVAC system, so it's kind of a standalone space, and that thing's performed flawlessly. So this one can of R410A didn't quite get us to full, at least as per the gauge, and it is 28.2 ounces. So I may order a second bottle of this. I won't have to buy any hose kits or anything, so be a little cheaper. It's performing really well already. 107 degrees coming out of there. So for the time being, I'm going to button this back up and just let it sit and see what happens. We'll see if it leaks down at all. Maybe we'll have to add five or ten. So it's as simple as that. We've got our cap back on there. Put this cover back on. 